Happy New Year everyone! It has been a long time since I sat down and made a video for you. Today I'm going to share with you a haul and the majority of the products I got are nail art related or nail related and I'm going to show them first and then I have some bits and pieces which are not nail art related but they are all beauty related. So let's start with LiveLovePolish.com and I have made a separate video on just their products um, before and I just wanted to share with you the packaging because it is so cute. Anyways, I bought three products there and I bought it on the Black Friday sale so I didn't pay the full price. The first polish I got is by NCLA and it is called Sugar Fix. It's such a unique polish and it's my first NCLA polish and I thought why not get it if it is on sale so that's why I bought it. I haven't done a swatch yet because I didn't want to post all the polishes on Instagram because that would take away from the surprise what I got. By the way, this is a collective haul, so some things I have for a while now and almost everything I bought on the Black Friday sale. So yeah, it's a little bit older. Then I got two polishes from the brand Pretty and Polished and these are so cute. First of all, I got boots and bows. I posted a swatch of this on Instagram so make sure to check it out if you're interested. It's just a very special polish and I'm always looking for something I don't have and I truly don't have any polishes like the ones I got from livelovepolish.com and the second one is called In Love with the Farmer's Daughter. This is also so gorgeous. I think all the polishes are so unique and I love them all. I tried to also swatch the blue one and the gray one so that you can see on Instagram how they look like. Yeah, and Love Love Polish was so kind to send me a little gift which is this mini sesh bead and I wanted to have a mini sesh, sesh bead polish for a long long time. It's just super handy to take with you if you're traveling around. So. Thank you so much Live Love Polish for sending me this top coat. Make sure to use my 10% off coupon code on livelovepolish.com if you decide to buy something. Let's move on to headtotoe.com and I bought a few polishes there and actually the polishes on, on head to toe are very cheap but the shipping is so high that I'm kind of um, it was not that smart to buy polishes there, especially not the Essie ones. So, um, like I said, I bought some Essie there and it would have been a lot smarter if I would gotten them in Germany because um, the shipping to Switzerland is almost $30. So although the polishes are cheap, um, in the end they're not that cheap anymore. Anyways, first of all I got the famous Summit of Style from Essie and also I don't want to pronounce this because probably I'm pronouncing it wrong, so I'm just writing it here. But I'm guessing it's hors d'oeuvre. These two polishes are super beautiful and I love them. Then I also got this super fun polish from Ruby Swing. It is called In Your Dreams and it changes colors if you go outside. So I'm super excited to try this out and I think this was good to buy it there because I don't know where to get it elsewhere. Next I got this base coat which is called Milky White by Color Club and I bought this because I had a bottle of this and it's almost empty so I just thought I would buy it in case the other one goes empty and I usually do that if I like a, if, if I like a base coat I'm just going to buy it and um, leave it in my drawer until the other one gets empty. So that's why I got this. I also got two nail files. One is the Diamond Buffer by IBD and one is the Emerald file. I'm especially happy about the Diamond Buffer because I like buffers. I buff my nails about once in one to two weeks. As I said before, although the products are cheap there, if you live abroad like me, um, you have to think twice if you want to buy there because shipping costs are 
super super high you always have to think about um, custom fees so you can't just buy for like 200 bucks and and think like oh cool then the shipping cost is only 30 compared to that amount because then you have to pay high amounts of custom fees so yeah that's why I only buy a little bit always anyways enough talking um let's move on to more polishes um these these two polishes were actually a gift from my best friend so i didn't buy them myself but i wanted to share them because i'm so happy about them and these were a christmas gift first of all i have a set which includes a top coat and a nail polish which is called chin chili this is super nice i love the color i don't have it already so super excited for this and then she got me a Chanel nail polish. First I was so excited because I don't own any Chanel nail polishes. But then I wasn't sure because I shared this on Instagram. I'm not sure if I shared this on YouTube. But I bought a Dior polish. And this is also my only Dior one. And I was super disappointed by this polish. Just the formulation wasn't good. I needed, um, I don't know, a lot of layers and it built bubbles so I was super disappointed with this nail polish and then I wasn't sure what to think of Chanel because you know these polishes are super expensive but then yesterday I tried it out and I'm so in love with it it is the number 167 ballerina and it's a color which you can wear every day to the office to a wedding to whatever it just fits everything and I applied two coats and you can surely build it up with three coats and it will be more opaque but I love how they look like I also posted a picture on Instagram so make sure to check that out if you're interested I just think it's a gorgeous polish the formulation was great it dried super quickly the brush is perfect it was super easy to apply so I truly recommend this polish. It is expensive, it is a treat and I think this is very good and I'm very happy about this one. Next let's have a look at some nail charms. I'm pretty sad that in the nail room is closed because I bought a lot of things there. But now um, I try to switch over to daily charm because they have awesome things too. Let me just show you what I got. First of all, I got these opal crystals and I think these are beautiful, especially like with a white gel base. Then I also got them in rose gold and I thought it would be awesome to pair these and also with clear ones and do a little triangle thingy in the cuticle area. Next, I got some more Swarovski crystals, but the flat ones, I got these because they are super, super cute and also these. I don't really know what I can say much about them. I just bought them because I think they are cute, yeah. And I also got some charms which are pistols, bananas and reindeers. I bought the bananas for summer designs. The pistols are okay for the whole year and I intended to use the reindeers for Christmas designs but I did not have a lot of time to do nail art tutorials so yeah probably next year. I also got a gift from Daily Charm and it is so cute. She gave me three charms and I'm in love with them, especially with the lion. So that's super sweet that she gave me something extra. I'm so excited to use this. This was all the nail art related things and now I want to move on to Mr. Kate. And I actually made two purchases there. First before the Black Friday sale, which was which wasn't that smart and then at the Black Friday sale so I got some things on sale and some things not. The first thing I got there are beauty marks and I'm so excited about them. I wanted them for a long time. I also gave them to my friend and she already used them. They looked so pretty on her. I like to use them too but I don't know. I feel like I'm too pale to use them so I don't know if it looks that good. Next I got three rings at Mr. Kate. The first one is this. I think this one is called Pixie Ring. I'm going to link these rings in the description box below. And also I bought two different ring sizes. I think I bought a number two and four. I don't know. I'm going to write it in the description box below. We're almost done. Next up I went on eBay. Those of you who watched my last big haul video I went on eBay and bought some products from there and I went again and bought some more. First of all, 
I bought this product and this is a lip scrub in a lipstick form which is super fun. I don't think that this is the best lip scrub, not at all, but it is so practical. So if you go out and you want to just get rid of your dead skin or something, you can do it and it's not a big mess or anything. So it's very practical, especially for the winter time. I debated for a long time if I should get this or not because I wasn't sure if I need it. And it is this product. It is a lip concealer. I always, not always, but almost always add concealer onto my lips. I do it because first of all I don't like my natural lip color that much so it evens the color a little bit out and sometimes I just want to have this nudish look and that's why I add it. So I bought this lip concealer and I don't think that this is a must-have product because you can just use a regular concealer but I really love it. It's just so practical because now I have a product, especially for my lips, which is great and I love it and I'm happy with it. It's a good product. The last product I got is a lipstick. I thought it was a lipstick, but it is more a tint. It looks like this pale pink and if you add it, it's a little bit darker, but it gets like a tint as you can see. So here are some darker spots and I think it's a fun lipstick and I always pair it with the lip concealer and I can just show you how it looks like and yeah that's what I got. If you buy products there you always get a few samples. I love samples then you can try out things and find new products you like. Mostly they are moisturizers so I always get moisturizing samples. The last thing I want to share with you is also a Christmas gift and it's for my sister and um, it is a Kiko lip set and it also has a lip scrub. I haven't tried it yet but my sister has and it is supposed to be very good and I'm super excited about this because this is like the real deal lip scrub and usually I just take sugar and honey to scrub my lips and that works just fine but it's just cool to have a product for this so I'm super excited to use this. I know I was talking super fast, that's because it's New Year's Eve and I have to go out very soon and I wanted to film this video real quick, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope I can edit it soon and in case you're wondering, I'm having my finals right now so I'm very absent on YouTube, I'm a lot more on Instagram because it's just easier to just go with my phone there. Anyways, I'm going to be fully back in about two weeks, I also announced it on Instagram but not on YouTube. I cut my nails but I pre-filmed some videos on my long nails so please don't be confused if you see tutorials on longer nails because they were just pre-filmed. My nails are short right now and for those who are wondering why I cut my nails the answer is very simple they were just broken. I'm very happy with my short nails but I'm going to grow them longer again and I think that was it. Thank you so much for watching I hope it was interesting for you Again, I wish you all a happy new year and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!